Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I decided to do a Valentine's Day inspired makeup look. Incorporating a lot of pinks and neutrals and I am obsessed with how it came out. Um, if you guys want to see how I got this Valentine's Day inspired look then just keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Okay, so I'm starting with my base already on, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to the eyes. So first and foremost, I'm going to start by priming my eyes. And for today, I'm going to be using MAC Select Cover Up Concealer. I've seen a lot of people use this product to cut their brows, cut the crease. Nikki Tutorials uses it to cut the crease. So I picked it up, and honestly, it's been working so many wonders whenever I carve out my brows. Um, it just gets rid of any hairs, and it's really thick, but it's so easy to play with and move around. So I really been enjoying it now to set the eyeshadow base i'm going to begin by taking the morphe 35b palette and i'm going to take this creamy shade and i'm just taking a fluffy brush to do this so since today's video is a valentine's day inspired look i wanted to do an eye look incorporating a lot of pink colors so this palette is going to be perfect because it comes with an array of rainbow colored eyeshadows <laughs> so to begin building in the crease i'm going to be taking the first shade in the second row this pink one right here with a fluffy brush and i'm just going to pack that into my crease And just to add some more warmth into that shadow, I'm going to take this peachy shade. Next, I'm going to be going into this NYX Vivid Brights palette. And I'm going to be taking this pink shade right over here with a flat fluffy brush just to build up the crease. And we want to bring this color all the way in as well as all the way out because we are going to be cutting the crease today. And then I'm going to flip my brush vertically and start to blend that color. We ultimately just want to have no harsh edges so you can't tell where the color begins or ends. I'm just going to go back in with that original crease fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend those two together. Now going back into the Morphe 35B palette, we are going to be taking that hot pink shade. We're going to apply it just under the shade we previously put and that's going to go tucked right in our crease. So what I've just done is pretty much pack that hot pink shade on with the pencil brush and then I'm going back in with the flat fluffy brush that I previously used and I'm just blending it out. So once again, we are going to put that right in our crease and then with the fluffy brush, we're going to go back in and blend it out. Going back in with the fluffy brush and further blending. And now we are going to cut the crease. So I'm going to go back in with my MAC Select Cover Up Concealer. I'm going to go in with a flat synthetic brush just like this. I'm going to grab a little bit of product and place it at the base of my eyelid. And then I'm going to go ahead and look up. And wherever marker is, is where I'm going to be cutting the lid. So now that we've cut the lid, we're going to set that in three different sections. So the first third is going to be white. The second third is going to be this pinky shade. Outer corner is going to be this hot pink shade. And to blend these colors together, first you want to pack on your color and then just start tapping where the two colors meet to blend them. For this hot pink shade at the end so that it's not so intense, I'm going to be taking a tapered blending brush and I'm going to blend that out. And there we have it. So next we're going to move on to eyeliner. So for today, I'm going to be using this NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner and I'm just going to be winging out my eyeliner. Thank you. 
Next, I'm just gonna go in with mascara, and today I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Temptation Mascara. And then as always, I'm gonna be taking Lily Lashes, and I'm gonna be using the style Mykonos today. Okay, so now for our bottom lashes, we're gonna go back into that Morphe 35B palette. I'm gonna go back into that hot pink shade and apply that to the lower lashes. And with the same flat, fluffy brush from earlier, we're gonna go ahead and blend that out. We're gonna take a little bit of that light pink shade from the center of our eyelid to further blend that. And then we're just gonna add some bottom mascara to finish off the eyes. To bronze, I'm going to take this Morphe M527 brush and the Kat Von D shade and light palette and I'm going to be going in with this middle shade. And for the nose, I'm going to take the same shade just on a small flat brush. For blush, I'm going to be taking Party by Tarte. Since the eyes are so pink, I wanted to choose a blush that was going to give me some color but not be too pink because we don't want to be looking crazy. As a blush topper slash highlight, I'm going to be taking Peach Nectar Illuminator by Anastasia. And I'm going to be placing that kind of in the middle of where your blush and highlight would go. And as you see, it creates a really nice sheen. And for my actual highlight, I'm going to be taking the Becca and Jaclyn Hill collaboration Champagne Pop Highlighter. This is a really bright peach toned highlighter, so I feel like it would go really well with this look. I'm also going to take Champagne Pop on a clean pencil brush and pop that in the inner corners and below my brow bone. And lastly for lips, since the eyes are so bold, I do want to go with a nude lip just to balance out the look. So I'm going to be taking, as always, Max Hover Lip Liner. And then I'm going to be taking Max Honey Love Lipstick, which is a beautiful nude shade. And over top, because I just cannot live without this gloss, I'm going to be taking Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. Okay, you guys, and this is a completed look to my Valentine's Day tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. All products will be listed in the bottom bar below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more from me. And I will see you guys in the next one.